Hi, this is Steve Amid, and I know a lot of times we're on conference calls now, we're on calls more and more with the, the virus, so I want to do a quick about me. All of you have been on conference calls, and we go around the room, and we say, oh, well, why don't you introduce yourself? Tell us about yourself. I'm sending the video out in advance of calls I'm doing, hoping you get a chance to watch it. This will kind of consolidate and, and save time for all of us involved. So again, Steve Amid, I joke I'm a lifelong entrepreneur. Never had a job. I'm actually unhirable. I didn't know that until many years after college. But retail stores in college, uh, wrote three books when I was 20, had the fourth infomercial ever on television. But the arc of my career really started when I was 22, going way back. I went to work for Travelers Group selling insurance. And over six and a half years, I read 357 books. I read a book a week dissected the elements of that book, ended up creating a 10-step program called a bullseye belief system. I'm actually known as a bullseye guy because I'm very good on being targeted, specific, and focused on trying to figure out exactly what you want or need. I've used that system to build several companies. I did my first internet company in 1996. We were the first master merchant in the world for credit card processing. Took that company public in 99 through a, a transaction, uh, watched it go up, watched it go down, watched it collapse in 2000 like a lot of others did. But uh, that technology is really what went on to become PayPal. Did an enterprise software company in 2000 going into 2001. When September 11th happened, we repurposed our software, donated it to the city of New York, ended up with a Homeland Security product. That was cool for a couple of years. Partnered with a big global consulting firm called Arthur Anderson. Wow, who knew? Anderson went bankrupt in 2002, so our enterprise software platform never really got to market. But have gone on. We've done two other public companies, one in the, the healthcare space, one a couple years ago that was a reverse transaction around a digital platform for entertainment. So I've created about 11 companies. I've had three public transactions. Again, not full IPOs, not big wins, but these kind of OTC bulletin board liquidity events are what I really like. Um, that's it. Just a, a little overview. Just wanted to share it in advance. So whatever we're talking about today, I'm excited to talk about it. Stephen Mead.